It's a cello Remy hair by Sensational. And they sent me one, two, three, four packs. So they sent me four packs of hair and then they sent me their L part lace closure. It's the cello hair right here. And it looks like that. It's luxurious, 100% Remy human hair. Y'all honestly, if y'all been following me on Instagram and stuff, I love beauty supply store hair for bobs. That's my highly recommended hair. A lot of my clients, they always be like, Adri, like you were right about this pack hair. It's like the best hair. I typically prefer using Remy hair or beauty supply store human hair for bobs because the density of the hair is so much better. Sometimes when you get some virgin hair and you cut it, you know, it'd be too wild. It's hard to deal with. It doesn't really hold a shape because it's so pure. But sometimes processed hair make the best bobs, in my opinion. This is how the hair looks. It's very coarse. It's a coarse texture. It's not silky at all, which I love. I love getting um coarse human hair. I think it looks better, it cuts better, and it flows a lot better. And it's thicker when you have more of a coarse texture versus getting a silkier texture and it's thick from the ends all the way to the root. Tag says shed free and tangle free. I mean, let's be real, all hair sheds and you will get some tangles. I don't know what this hair, but working with so much hair, it's gonna happen. Now how much is gonna tangle and how much is gonna shed, we don't know that. But typically when you have bob wigs and like quick weaves, you're pretty good as far as like the tangling. You may get a little bit in the back, but nothing too crazy. So I don't expect this hair to shed that much either. So also I'm being super lazy now. If you know me, like I said, you follow me on other social media, I highly recommend sewing your wigs on the cap because you can wash it, it's more flexible. It's just better sewing it, but because I'm short on time and I'm being super lazy today, I'm actually gonna do a quick weave with this hair on a cap. By quick weave, I'm gonna be using hair glue and I'm gonna be using a cap. So I'm gonna be gluing, cutting and gluing the tracks on the cap for a quick weave wig. I guess you could say a quick weave wig. But if you watch my older videos, I really like sewing it on, but I just don't have the time for all that right now. The only issue with doing it that way is that it's gonna be glued on so you can't wash the hair. Now I know some people actually wash their quick weaves. I guess it just depends on the way you wash it, but typically I wanna suggest you washing the hair with it being glued on because the glue can melt and just come off. But I know some people, like I said, some people actually get quick weaves, take the whole cap off and wash it. How they do that? I don't know, but I'm telling you straight up, if you're gluing a wig with this type of glue, or even hot glue, a lot of times it's going to come apart because the water is touching the glue, and it's going to just get weaker, and then the trash is going to come off. So, I don't plan on washing this wig at all, so that's why I'm okay with gluing it. 30 seconds is one of my favorite glues. You get it from the hair store. I got it for $1.99. It typically runs you a dollar to $2, and I like this type of bottle because it's just more convenient. It just comes out like a two. You just kind of put it on a track and it has a point right here so when I do my quick weave I usually use this type because it's just easier to work with the type of cap that I'm using um I hate dome caps just my opinion I don't really like them but I picked this up because I think this will stick better to hair glue than in my weaving cap that I typically use and this is um a make your own wig cap thingy I got from the hair store this company um has a lot of different type of wig caps specifically for making wigs so you've probably seen these in your hair store so um don't I mean if you like a dome cap that's fine I just personally like weaving caps because I usually sew my wigs together I usually don't glue it but since I'm gluing it I think this material will actually hold the glue better than using a regular weaving cap what the cap looks like and actually this dome cap is actually better because it's more flexible and it's actually thinner you see how clear that is it's gonna be pretty good to work with because of the flexibility of it and you can see how transparent it is so I feel like your hair can breathe with these type of dome cap. Um, the beauty supply stores here are typically very cheap so you might find this maybe a dollar cheaper but I doubt you find it cheaper anywhere else because Orlando has dirt cheap hair stores. What I have on my hair right now this is also a U part wig. Um, I put this texturizer stuff in my hair. I'm not the one to follow you into this natural hair journey. I'm the one. I'm the wrong one because I put whatever in my head for a style. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm not loyal to y'all at all. So you like, oh my god, you put a texturizer in your hair? I sure did, and I love it. Made a while ago, and like I said, I put this texturizer crap in my hair that keeps my hair straight for six weeks. I'm um, just on week one. I haven't flat ironed my hair in a week, and you see how straight it is. So this is my natural hair, so I'm sure my hair is probably going to be longer than this bob, but I don't feel like cutting it, so. You see my hair? Do not mind it. It's just off the chain. My hair, I don't care what they look like because it's my head. But trust me, my clients don't look like this, <laughs> but I don't care. As long as you got some anchor braids right here and something right here to attach the wig on, you good. Like this. It's really big, too, so I'm probably just going to end up cutting this band off it's humongous i don't know how this thing fitting like this because i have a dome that i'm being ghetto because i don't feel like getting my um marker so i have concealer here and a pen and a brush and we're just going to outline where i'm gonna um stop it so remember those anchor braids i'm basically just outlining where those anchor braids are so i know where to stop it so about Right here, anchor braids. I'm just my way. Just my way I just put some scribble scrabble over here to remind me that this side is the bang because <laughs> sometimes I mess up and put. When I do my bangs, I like them full, so on one side of the wig, I would put more hair than I would on this side. So that's why I put these scribble scrabbles, all right, bang, 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 G, bang over here, so I know to put the freaking bang on this side, because I don't know how many times I done put the bang on the wrong side of my head. <laughs> so, bang over here cap your dome cap or whatever cap you want to use with bang on the left side so you know we put the bang over there and that bang on the right side this is my girl shabuda she's all beat up but she's been through so much with me i'm about to die because no matter if you get fat or ugly in our relationship i'm gonna always love you i had this thing about two or three years now i think and it's still working this is a wig block like i said from amazon um, I started using these because I figured ding dong, if people in the theater use things to make wigs, those big old wigs with them big old heads, I was like, I might as well use like a theater wig block to make my wigs because it only makes sense. What I mean, so this is a new one I purchased like a couple months ago and you can see how it's more intact than my old one. But, like the bottom started ripping off. Like I cut, well, first of all, it comes with this cloth over it. I cut the cloth off because it just works better when it's not any cloth on it. But when you make a theater wig, they kind of use the cloth, but I don't use it, so I cut it. Anyway, you can see how the bottom of this, see how it all ripped up? And like, look how, look at this. See how they all, they tore up right there? And this kept falling out. Look at that. The whole thing broke apart. And I had this for about two, three years now, you see? And look how beat up she is, and she still works. And then this one's just a hot mess. So I'm still trying to work with this because I bought it and I just was not satisfied. So this is what I mean. They're from the same vendor, and this has more of a shape, so it's a little bigger, and over time it gets a little smaller because you're just using it so much. Once again, guys, like I said, I am going to glue this wig on, not sew it. I typically recommend you guys sewing it because you can wash it, it's more flexible. I'm lazy, and I don't feel like sewing anything. I'm going to glue it, okay? Don't say I never told you nothing. It also helps if you guys don't know how to sew, so I figure I do glue anyway because I haven't done one with hair glue i've done two with hot glue but not hair glue so yeah so maybe this will help some y'all who don't know how to sew you can still get your atrium bob girl 